Of course, we are not forced to switching from the major to the minor chord. So not we are not forced to 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 playing something like this. So first, fourth major chord and minor chord and then another chord. So this is not the only succession. Uh, we can use directly the minor chord on the fourth degree. So let's take the following example of building a chord progression in D major key. Let's start now from the, from the dominant chord, so fifth degree chord, A major chord, which is the dominant chord of D major chord. Then we switch to the sixth degree, so B minor, I'm playing this F sharp B D, but this is the same as this. And, uh, and then I can switch directly to the fourth degree, but rather than using the major chord, I can directly use, it, use the, the, the minor chord. And then I can end on the first degree. So I can do something like this. Fourth, fifth, fourth bar minor chord, and then first degree. It is, uh, even in this case, uh, I have a, uh, we have already covered this, we, this is a plagal cadence, so the last succession of chords is the plagal cadence. I want to point out that it is very effective the switching from the B minor chord to the G minor. It's very strange, very effective, very strong, since we have um, an alteration of this degree, of this note, switching from B natural to B flat, in the case of the fourth degree chord, minor chord, of course, uh, fourth degree chord. And then let's switch to this other one. Um, okay, so uh, we are not forced to, uh, to use only one chord on the fourth degree. So um, what I mean is that during the same song, we are not forced to using only the major chord on the fourth degree or only the minor chord on the fourth degree. Uh, building a chord progression or composing a song, we can use both uh, depending on the moment, depending on the point of the song of the chord progression. And in this way, we can, uh, si since we are going to use different chords uh, built on the same degree, uh, in different parts of the chord progression, we can achieve a greater variety. So let's see how to do this in A major key. For example, let's start from the first from the first degree. So A major uh, A major chord. I can start here. And so uh, first degree, then fourth degree. I'm using the major chord on the fourth degree now. Then first degree. And then now I'm going to use the, uh, the second degree chord, which is a, again a subdominant chord. So dominant, subdominant, dominant, again subdominant, but I'm going to use another, um, another chord of the same group, subdominant group. And then uh, if I want to prolong the subdominant function uh, without having a sense of monotony, I can use the fourth degree, but switching to the minor chord or rather than using the, the, the major chord that I have just used uh, in the previous, as a previous chord. Uh, and in this case, then I can switch to the dominant chord and then tonic chord. So I can, say, I can have something like this. First, fourth, but major chord. First, second, and now fourth, but minor chord. Fifth and first.